and welcome to King's Club. Why don't we pray together right at the very start. Father God, we love you. Thank you so much that you care for us. Thank you that you always want the best for us and you know what is the best for each one of us. Sorry for the times when we have let you down during the last week and please help us to show that we love you and that we love others around us too. Amen. Amen. And our key point today is this. Our key point is I am important. I am important. That's what God says about us. He thinks that we are important. Is that the sound of a fanfare that I can hear? And our Bible bit today comes from Ephesians. Remember, I've said it so many times, God's electric power company e is for Ephesians. It's in the New Testament, towards the back end of the Bible. And Ephesians chapter 2 verse 10 says this, God created you to do good things and to live as he always wanted you to live. Let's say that one more time. God created you to do good things and to live as he always wanted you to live. Right, let's have a quick look at some amazing talents on display in this video clip. Do you know, the amazing thing is that we have all been created individually by Father God and he has given each one of us some different skills, some different talents. Don't you dare tell me that you're not skilled or, or talented because God says that you are and he doesn't lie. He's given each one of us incredible skills and talents, maybe different to the ones that we saw in that video. But you have got some incredible gifts and talents that are specially designed for you by Father God. And we're going to watch a story together today about a lady called Esther that we can read about in the Bible. And God gave her, I suppose you could call it a skill. She was born beautiful and her beauty got noticed by a king. And I'm not going to spoil the story. Let's watch it together. The story of Queen Esther. The land of Babylon was ruled by the king of Persia. But God's people were still living in Babylon. One of them was a young woman named Esther. The king of Persia wanted a beautiful young woman to be his queen. And he chose Esther. About this time, Esther's cousin Mordecai got in trouble. Hey, Mordecai, what? here comes General Haman. You better bow down to the leader of the king's army. No, I will only bow down to the god of my fathers. Ugh. This made Haman so angry that he made a plan to kill all God's people living in Persia. Neither Haman nor the king knew that Queen Esther was related to Mordecai, or even that she was one of God's people. 
So the king agreed to Haman's evil plan. <laughs> when Mordecai found out about the plan, he went secretly to visit the queen. You must go to the king and beg him to have mercy on our people. But I have not been called to the king. Anyone who enters his throne room without permission will be killed. Unless he holds out his gold scepter. Yes, you may be killed. But who knows, you may have been chosen queen for just such a time as this. The young woman had a big decision to make. One that could get her killed. Or it could save God's people. All right. Tell all God's people to stop eating and start praying for me. I will go to the king, even though it is against the law. If I die, I die. So Esther put on her royal robes and went to see the king. When the king's servants saw her, they were afraid she would be put to death. But when the king saw Esther, he was very pleased. Slowly, he held out his gold scepter. What is it, my queen? What do you want to ask me? My king, I ask that you have mercy on me and my people, the Jews. Haman wants us all to be killed. And that day, the king decided to save Esther and all God's people from Haman's evil plan. God had a special plan for Esther, and it was that beauty that got her noticed. She had beauty as a skill, if you want to call it that way, but God designed her and he placed her on the earth at just the right time. It said for such a time as this, and because Esther was there and able to go and visit the king, she turned a nation's history completely around. And you listening, as I've mentioned before, have got special gifts and talents. Maybe, maybe you're a very artistic person. Maybe you're a very sporty person. Maybe you're someone who is a good and faithful friend. Maybe you're very caring. Maybe you've got talents that you haven't even discovered yet. But listen to me. You have got talents. And God has designed you in a particular way. In, with the talents that you have got and he's placed you on this earth at this particular time in history, your age as you are now, because he's got such a good plan for you and for your life and using those talents that are inside you. So please don't look at yourself and think, I've got nothing to offer. You have got so much to offer. Don't compare yourself to others around you. Don't say, but you know, what's God put in me? God has put so much inside you and he never, ever creates anything which is less than amazing. You are amazing and you are important to God. He's placed you on the earth, as I said, at this time, at a time such as this, for you to use your, your talents, your gifts, who you are as a person, because he's got such an important plan for you to, to carry out. So remember that. Don't compare yourself to other people. You have got a special talents living inside you. You may not have discovered them yet, but believe me, they really are there. Okay, we're going to finish with one of our King's Club favourite songs, God, You're Good to Me, and we'll see you next time. Have a fantastic week! Deserve this love.